This is a final look at the remodel we did. It started out as a bath remodel, but then it, it expanded and we did quite a bit more down here. We remodeled this house completely upstairs down to uh, bare studs a few years ago when the owners uh, purchased it. Um, before they moved in, we did the, uh, the major remodel. And then now a couple of years later, we kind of finished up. We did do 100% of the downstairs, but pretty much all that's gonna get done. In the entire downstairs, we put in a new carpet and baseboard everywhere. There was no baseboards before. And there used to be a big, ugly brick, uh, sort of obnoxious area, not really a fireplace, but it held up a, a brick fireplace upstairs that we tore out a couple of years ago. And so the support wasn't needed anymore, but there was a gas log wood stove down here and we took that out and put in this contemporary unit, sort of frame the wall out. It's kind of a beautiful unit, but it's also very efficient and has a fan that kicks on and heats the room. This is a daylight basement, so heat was one of the big issues. The kitchen, we didn't do anything to it other than paint the cabinets and put in new countertops and a new sink and a new valve, but didn't really want to do too much. The upstairs kitchen is the nice kitchen. This is just a area in the family room. We also redid the ceiling lights in the kitchen. They had the old fluorescence that buzzed and hummed and didn't work very good. Couldn't even have a conversation in the room. So we didn't do LEDs or anything, but we put in uh, daylight balanced uh, fluorescent tubes. Fireplace remote is mounted there. It's just a wireless remote and it's also therm the thermostat to uh, turn on the fireplace when heat's needed. All the bedrooms got were new carpets and uh, base molding and heat. We added these uh, Convectair heat, uh, electric heaters, they're thermostatically controlled, so each room has its own heat, so it's like having zone heating. And these are very efficient. We've put them in a number of places that have heating issues in the lower level. And the other bedroom is exactly the same. Put the heater in here, a new carpet, and base molding. And the room that started at all, the bathroom, you have to look at some of the other videos to see what it looked like. It's quite different. We put in this uh, brand new curved shower. We had this limited space to work with, so the curve uh, worked best, and it's a contemporary design, so it fit well with the style that the homeowners like. So the shower has moved to the right and the toilet to the left. They were reversed when we started. There used to be a wall in here with a shower back in that corner. We tore it out, there was a lot of moisture damage. We were able to clean that up. There's a bit of a musty smell throughout the house. That is now gone. And we put in new cabinets and granite countertops and a new sink and valve. And we did a tile floor. And under the tile floor is an electric heat. This is the controller for it. So now in an area that had a lot of heating issues, the forced air furnace would not uh, really heat well down here, which is pretty common with these uh, solid concrete floors. They tend to generate a lot of cool. Heat in the bathroom helps. The heat in each bedroom helps and also the fireplace. We also put in a new gas furnace, a train unit, 90% uh, plus, and we put in a power damper up for fresh air on a timer. So even when the heat isn't running in the summertime, twice a day, 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening, the damper opens up and brings in fresh air from the outside. So it circulates air even when the furnace isn't working. So the remodel. I hope you enjoyed it. You can take a look at the other videos to see how it looked before we started. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.